Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. So the exotic class items are now available starting this week. That is the Titan Mark, the Warlock Bond, and the Hunter Cloak. Those are all available starting this week through a secret exotic mission called Dual Destiny. Um, now you have to go through some hoops and you have to take a few steps to actually unlock that mission. It's not just right out in the open for you. Um, but what I have here is just a quick guide to show you how to actually unlock that mission so that you can go through and play it. So first step, we have to do an overthrow in each of the three main areas. So here is the landing kill the overthrow final boss and once you do that a wizard is going to spawn in the area and that's going to be for all three of these areas as well so after you've killed the final boss for the overthrow activity head to the cave to the right and there is going to be a wizard with a shield up and now each of these wizards that you kill are going to have some kind of like mechanic with them for this one pretty simple there's going to be three crystals surrounding it just shoot the crystals the shield will drop and then these wizards they're 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 pretty easy to kill they don't have a lot of health so super um, heavy whatever um so after you have done that, its shield will drop. Go ahead and then you can now kill the wizard here. And then once you do that and you finish off its ghost, a secret keeper of the Witch Queen is vanquished. That message will appear in the bottom left. Now head to the next area, the Blooming, and do the same thing. Kill the final overthrow boss. And then the wizard is going to spawn. This is in the back left corner as you enter the Blooming. Uh, there's going to go through like that purplish cave. You'll get to this kind of clearing and our next wizard will spawn. For this one, you just have to kill all the taken knights, all the taken enemies on the outside of it, and then the shield will drop. Uh, once you kill the wizard, again, you'll get a secret keeper of the witch has been vanquished. And then in the impasse, kill the boss there. Uh, and then the third and final wizard is going to be located in the back right ish corner or front i guess it'd be the front right as you enter the area this area over here um and for this one uh you could just go inside this dome kill the enemies there's going to be a yellow taken knight that spawns it will drop a volatile darkness orb something or other uh this guy here once you kill him it'll drop this little orb and you can throw that at the wizard to break its shield and then kill it and once you do that, you'll get your final A Secret Keeper of the Wish has been vanquished. Once you do that, there's going to be a green light in the sky. Uh, you can see it there. You want to go to that green light, and that is going to be in the refraction. So you can teleport over to the Blooming. You're going to head to this cave here. And there is going to be an opening or a clearing, like a little room that you come into with all these like crystals in it. Uh, and this, you'll see it is going to change over to the refraction here. Uh, this room here, once you get into this room, you're going to get a, I guess, a buff or just some kind of a thing on your left. It's uh Envoy. Uh, you're going to get that for seven minutes. Also, you're going to get two little markers that pop up on your HUD. These are two areas you need to go, uh, kill a bunch of enemies. And the objective here is you're getting a, a yellow bar subjugator to spawn. Once that yellow subjugator spawns, you don't have to kill him. He is pretty tanky, actually, but you don't have to kill him. You just have to drop his health by a third. Once you drop his health by that third, he will teleport out of there, uh, dropping a orb in the process. So get his health down low enough. Once he teleports out, he will drop that orb. And you then need to take this orb all the way back to the room that you initially got Savathun's Envoy in. Uh, there's going to be a light plate and a dark plate, much like a lot of the mechanics that we've done in the actual campaign. So go ahead and plant the light orb on the light plate. Now we're going to head over to the dark one and do the exact same thing. Uh, just add clear until eventually a subjugator spawns. Do about a third of its health. Once that happens, it will drop a dark orb this time. You can see it popped out right there. And then pick up the dark orb, and you're going to run that back all the way to the same room. Dunk it on the dark plate. And once you do that, that is how you unlock the exotic mission, Dual Destiny. Now, with that exotic mission, uh, it you have to have two people. Unfortunately, you cannot do it solo. You have to do it with two guardians. Um, so if you are looking for somebody to do that with, you can always LFG it or you can join our Discord. I'm going to be running this a ton. So if there's anybody that wants to run this, you can put it in our Discord. There's about 170 people in there and they're all going to be running it. So if you have any questions, let me know, let me know down below and leave a like and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.